you guys? It's your girl Taylor. Welcome back to the channel. Um, also, this is my son Ruben. He's a new addition to my family. Um, so he's just going to be chilling in the background of this video. But today, I wanted to go over the complete timeline of my application process for medical school. So I think it's easiest to kind of break this into sections. First, I'm going to go through all of the kind of pre-work before you actually click submit. Then I'll go through the timeline of, you know, submitting my application, receiving secondaries, um, receiving interview invites, and of course, receiving acceptances. Okay, so getting started with all kind of the pre-work before you submit your application. Probably the first thing you're going to do in your application process is take the MCAT. For me, I took this on August 7th of 2020, which was a couple years before I applied. So I was actually planning on applying the cycle prior to the one I actually did. Ultimately, when I was looking at gap year jobs, a lot of them wanted a two year commitment. And I decided it would just be more beneficial to delay uh, me going to medical school by a year and really get you know, a job that I wanted to and I really cared about. Okay. And then when I started writing for my application, I started writing around like December of 2022. So my undergraduate school actually does a program where we kind of submit our materials to them and they keep us on a timeline. Um, but this is roughly when I started kind of doing rough drafts of my personal statement, um, started thinking about my activity section. And then I was just kind of writing off and on whenever I had an idea from December to about June, which is when I submitted. So I wasn't writing like super heavy. I was probably looking at my drafts, you know, a couple times a week, writing for like a couple hours each time I looked at them. And throughout that process, I was, you know, sending drafts to friends, family, anyone who was willing to read them so they could give me feedback. Um, and I also worked with some advisors at my undergrad. And then it was also around this time when I started reaching out for letters of recommendation. And then the last thing I did before I actually submitted my applications was take the CASPER exam. This is something I found out about pretty late into applying for schools. It's something that right around me kind of building my school list, I realized that I had to take this. So after you submit your primary application, it actually takes the AAMC a little bit of time to kind of verify it before they actually send it to schools. So my primary application was verified on June 28th of 2022. And then once your primary application is submitted and processed, that's when schools start receiving it. So at that time, schools will start to send you secondaries. So I received four secondaries on that same day that it was verified. I got three more on June 29th, another one on June 30th, another one on July 1st, one on July 5th, one on July 6th, one on July 7th, one on July 8th. I got five on July 9th, one on the 12th, one on the 13th, two on the 14th, one on July 25th, and one on July 31st. And then I actually got another secondary in October, um, which at that time I decided not to fill out because I was already in the process um, and had many other schools that I was more interested in. And then as far as kind of turnaround time, I tried to um, I tried to submit my secondaries two weeks after I got them, if not earlier than that. After you get a secondary, you then get the opportunity to be invited for an interview. I got 11 interview invites total. My first invite came on August 11th from Geisinger, and I interviewed there on September 21st. My next invite came from Loyola on August 15th, and I interviewed on September 6th. My next one came from George Washington on August 23rd, and I interviewed October 13th. My next one came from Albany on September 2nd, and I interviewed on September 12th. My next one came from Temple on September 3rd, and I interviewed on October 4th. My next one came from Penn State on October 10th, and I interviewed on November 9th. My next invite came from University of Tennessee on October 21st, and I decided not to attend that interview. My next one came from Drexel on October 24th, and I decided not to attend that one either. My next one came from Howard on January 27th, and I decided not to attend that one as well. And then my final interview invite came from Ohio State on February 3rd, and I interviewed on February 27th. Okay. So 
then after you interview, you of course have the long awaited opportunity of possibly being accepted into medical school. So um, most schools for this application cycle, the very first day they could send out um, acceptances was on October 17th. And so my very first acceptances, I actually got two acceptances on October 17th and those were from Geisinger and Loyal. I ended up getting rejected from Vanderbilt on October 25th, and this is one that they actually never gave me a secondary for, so I was like, yeah, they're probably gonna reject me, which is fine. I then found out that I was accepted into Albany on November 4th. On November 22nd, I was put on the wait list at Temple. When the new year came around, I found out that I was accepted to Penn State on January 5th, and then the rejection started rolling in. So I got rejected from Morehouse on February 17th, rejected from Columbia on the 21st, Rush on the 22nd, Emory on the 27th. I found out that I was waitlisted at the University of Pittsburgh on March 1st. And then that I was waitlisted at George Washington on March 6th. And then I got rejected from Duke on March 7th, followed by Perelman on the 9th, and then Tulane on the uh, 14th. And then I received my final acceptance from Ohio State on March 17th. Yeah, all of the other schools I have applied to, I have yet to hear from, so I'm assuming that my rejection will come probably right around the time that, you know, medical school starts for this year, but I'm really grateful to have had so many interviews and to have had five acceptances and getting to choose where I go to medical school in the summer. So then, kind of the final day of this whole journey was on May 1st. And that was the time that students were allowed to choose to commit to enroll to one school. And the school that I've decided to commit to is Penn State. So I'm so excited to start my medical school journey. This process is something that is so long and tiring. It really takes a whole year to get through. And I'm happy I'm on the other side of it. I'm happy I get to be a doctor. Um, yeah, I hope this gave some insight onto kind of what this process looks like for those who are going through it in the near future. I wish you the best of luck, and I will see you all later. Peace!